Hey guys, what's time six back watching Hi Mitchell Mother. This is season four, episode one. Do I know you? If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page where you can get early access and the full uncut reactions up to six episodes ahead. Link is gonna be down below. Help support the channel by checking that out, and let's get started right away. Kids, here's something I wish my dad had told me. The longest pause you will ever experience in your life is the one that follows asking the question, will you marry me? Oh, oh. God, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that was a... Oh, I wish it was this one. She may answer with the single greatest word in the English language. Yes. Wow. She did. Barney was rehabilitating from his bus accident. What are you doing? <laughs> and well, Marshall just kept coping with unemployment. Is your favorite brand of dental floss poisoning your entire oh family? My. Tune oh. in at 11 for the shocking tooth. <laughs> she didn't even want to say that. Okay, that was I so officially bad. hate my job. What is so urgent that you called me and begged me to come over at 7.22 in the morning? I could tell you knew something was up with me, and you're right. But I can't tell you what it is. He's in I love. You, but I can't. I have to. I never will. I'm going to. Let's just drop it. What's up with you? I think I'm in love with Robin. Ah! Hey, Lily needs some wow. good ideas for Stella's wedding shower. Does she like to cook? Um, actually, I don't know. Oh. Uh, what's your favorite color? Don't know that either. Wow. wow. Does she have any hobbies? I know plenty. What color are her eyes? You don't know that. Of the ocean after a storm, which is? It's it's like a disease. I slept disease. with Robin one time and I caught feelings. I caught feelings bad. I used protection and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't catch feelings, you just have them. I hear a song, it reminds me of Robin. Morning. I sleep with that chick, I'm thinking about Robin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, Lily, are you gonna help me out with this or not? I'm a kindergarten teacher. I see a confused little kid in the corner trying to eat the lefty scissors. I gotta help the poor little bastard. But only if you stop sleeping around. Deal? Deal. Coming up next, is your local ice cream man actually driving a roving meth oh, lab on what? wheels? My God. Stay tuned for the full... That makes sense. Scoop! Cool. Okay, this is, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Delicious. What's in this pesto? Uh, you know, the usual basil, garlic, olive oil. Oh, but she's can allergic. You guess my secret ingredients? Oh. Peanuts. Yes, how did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Robin just needs to see this new side of you. <coughs> so just call her up? Just call her up? No. Uh oh, what? this is gonna go horrible. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't there. Me. I left a voice. Yeah. No, the voice bill. No. It wasn't male. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh shit. That was a bird. No, I've actually never seen Star Wars. She's uh, never same. seen same. Star Wars. Same. Tip huh. all the people in the universe who haven't seen Star Wars are one. the characters in Star Wars, and that's because they lived them, Ted. That's because they lived the Star Wars. You gotta calm down. <laughs> Whether uh, or not uh. Stella likes it is actually important. It's like, it's a test of how compatible you guys are. Marshall, it's just a movie. It's just a movie. I mean, he's 34% right. Who, Marshall? Yeah, 34%. Can't marry her. No, you can't. I said 34. You wanna watch it again? So there's extra four coming. I'll explain. In the discussion. She's not gonna like it. She's gonna sleep. Hey, Mr. Grab a beer, you want one? Um, <clears throat> the movie's already started, so. Pause it. Yeah, it's just some words flying through space. I mean, I'm not gonna read that anyway. Oh, facts. Off to a bad start. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh why are you here, bro? Oh, man. The right woman. That's what I'm doing. I'm just looking to listen. <laughs> why are you acting like this? Like what? You're being super nice. It's freaking me out. Be gross. Be inappropriate. Be Barney. Uh, I'm being Barney. <clears throat> and I think tonight's going to be D, wait for it, lightful. Nah, that's a good one. Hey, um, so I went to the chiropractor yesterday. That guy bent me over the table and pounded me for a good hour. What? Yeah. He's trying to bring sure out the old guy. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> that's it? Okay. 
Dude, was that a joke? Well, um, yeah, yeah. Today, I'm a <laughs> yeah. He filled all of my cavities. Come on, man. <clears throat> well, your teeth look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars fun fact number seven. Do neck kisses turn you guys on? I don't know. Never works for me. Yeah, no, same. Okay, like it feels super uncomfortable. Wait, it's really important to you that I like this movie, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna like it with you staring at me the whole time. You go missed the whole room, thing. And I will come get you when it's over. So go. Hmm. She'll fall asleep. I think I'll get more. Well, at least she's trying to watch <clears throat> it. Should I leave? What? <laughs> <laughs> what part? What part? What part? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Whoa. Whoa. He's not even looking. Awesome. Who's this imposter, yo? Okay, we should have just heard. <gasps> but Stella didn't make a peep. She's not watching. Is she sleeping? She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Uh, <clears throat> I'm with Stella on this. Oh, oh. Never mind. oh, oh wait, she's, she's just, good. She's bored. Oh, she's bored, <gasps> man. Stop watching me, jackasses. <laughs> I loved it. Yes! She's yes. just saying that. She's lying. I marry 100%. a woman who is not only hot, but loves Star Wars. That's the dream. Yes! That's the dream? <laughs> really? You hated it, didn't oh, you? Oh, so stupid. Damn! First of all, how do they understand that walk-in bear they hang around with all the time? Look here. Yeah, he goes, mm, and they're all like, that's a good point, bear, but <laughs> he's a walk I know what she's talking about. That I haven't seen the movie. Stella, that is Ted's favorite movie of all time. He watches it when he's homesick with the flu. He watches it on rainy Sunday afternoons in the fall. He, he watches it on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Ted watches Star Wars in sickness and in health. In, in sickness good times and health. <laughs> this guy's married. Them. Do you really think that you can pretend to like a movie <clears throat> you actually hate the rest of your life? Damn, the double meaning in that question. I do. Well, then Ted's a lucky guy. April, have you met Barney? Oh, no. Hi, Barney. Uh, hello? April just finished her shift, and she's looking to blow off some steam. Well, you were so nice to me tonight. I wanted to return the favor, Damn. wing woman style. Look, April, I'm not a New York Yankee. Any other night, I would probably try to convince you that I am, but I'm not. I'm just some guy who's in love with the girl that just left. So I'm just going to go. And that was it. I'm so Jeez. sorry, Barney. Wow. But you can't give up. You know, it may <clears> take <throat> some time, but once Robin really sees the new you... Barney, um, will my family just <laughs> <say> <laughs> <once again? laughs> your name or mine? Barney, and tell your nephews to bring their mitts. They're going to be in foul ball country. <laughs> so what really happened? <laughs> I choose bimbos. What? Hey, Lily, bimbos make me happy. Bimbos make me <laughs> feel bimbos. alive. You're afraid of getting hurt. You're just... Confused. Oh, I'm not confused, Lily. You know who is confused? Bimbos. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? Bro, that's fucking like hilarious. Them. I love their vacant, trusting stares, their sluggish, unencumbered minds, their unresolved daddy issues. I love them, Lily, and they love me. Wow. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in the YouTube edit, click the link down below for the full uncut reaction over on Patreon and let's discuss now. So, do I know you? I guess that refers to, well both storylines actually. Robin not knowing who the new Barney is. Yeah. And Ted and Stella. Favorite moment? Hmm. I'm gonna have to say the Marshall behind the couch. Yeah. That was just funny. And just the whole scenario. Maybe. That's like yeah. a legit thing. Not at this, like it's not that serious, but it is a legit thing. Yeah. Um least favorite. I'm gonna say Lily, but that's for it's not specific to this episode. It's because I'm remembering some things about this season. And I think this is where it starts. So 
So that's just a personal thing, but whatever. Yeah, Lily is my yeah. least favorite. <clears throat> um, my favorite scene was just near the end when uh, Lily was talking to Barney and he was saying how like he misses uh, Robin, whatever, and then the girls comes out from the back, you know? That's your favorite or least favorite? That's my favorite. Oh. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Uh, least favorite, um, I don't have one. Yeah. It was okay. It was a nah, good that was a really good episode, man. Really funny. I like how they, uh, had both uh, storylines connected. You know, it wasn't like a separate Without thing. being connected. Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah. my favorite was probably Barney at the end when he was talking about bimbos. bimbos Yo, bimbos. Confused bimbos. The bimbos. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That is very true, though, about, um, I don't have it with TV show. I have it with the movie, though. If someone doesn't like Click, the movie. Click? Th- yeah. Really? Out of all movies, Click? Yeah, Click. If they don't like Click, something is wrong. I know people that hate Click. Yeah. I don't get it. I've never I heard of Click. What is this? It's the Adam Sandler and, with the yeah. remote that so, controls the world. So, oh, yeah. Click isn't the greatest movie of all time. Yeah, but it's really, but it's enjoyable. It's not meant to be that. It's enjoyable. So if you don't like it, there's something wrong with it. Actually, really, yeah. bro, I'm that guy that doesn't give a fuck though. It's kind of weird that you guys are. Okay, so this is what I was trying to say during. I guess we're getting into it now. The reason it matters and the reason Marshall is 34 percent right is because there is some level to it where your interests and likes and dislikes kind of have to be yes. aligned at some level yeah. to enjoy the same stuff. If you love, like, I'm not saying, oh, I enjoy a movie. But if I love a movie mm-hmm. and the other person hates it, these are two extreme, like, mm-hmm. ends of a feeling, right? Yeah, yeah. So if there's no, like, uh, like overlap there, yeah. then how can you connect on, like, a basic, not a basic level, but, like, a more in-depth level? 100%. You know? That's, 100%. That's, that's the way I see it. Yeah. It's like you might have similar interests, but the way you respond to entertainment is the more deeper like opinions and thoughts that it's, a person has it's not even that serious it's not even that it doesn't have to be that deep mm-hmm. it can be as simple as you don't enjoy the same humor if you don't then how the fuck are you yeah, gonna th- yeah, that too, talk yeah. about anything exactly mm-hmm. i have it with soccer like if they don't like soccer mm-hmm. if they hate like people here hate soccer right yeah if they hate soccer i, I just can't deal with actually it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. but i only have it with click so your movie is click. I, I don't re- really have uh tv shows movie? that i feel that strongly about maybe like dark but dark is such a oh no for, for me i do yeah dark dark okay and i said second time yeah you know what if they, mm. they're like i hate dark yet yeah because that because to enjoy dark yeah. you have to have an inquisitive mind exactly actually yeah. yeah and if you don't have that then you can't then we're not gonna vibe i gotta watch this show well i don't know if you'd like dark <laughs> After Fuck you said that, you fucking. I had to. I had to. So is it supernatural? Oh, it's yeah. Not supernatural, it's uh, sci fi. Okay, yeah. I'll, I love that. I'll take it in. Uh, for movies, mine is Jurassic Park. <clears throat> oh. I'm all about oh, really? the dinosaurs. All right. So, of course. Yeah. <laughs> History. But I don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, I'm good. Uh, um. Wow, this scares me, though. What scares you? Cause you guys all have these little standards here. I have nothing. Standards. So you're saying you don't I'm have like standards? I'm like a Barney, bro. I just fucking just bimbos, fucking right? talk to you. Like the bimbos. Bimbos, yeah. I like the bimbos. I don't give a fuck what you like, what you don't like. I'm there for the pussy and I'm out of here, bro. That's crazy. Well, that <sighs> explains a lot. Because mm-hmm. you don't look at, at, it, at the next level. Yeah. Fuck. I, 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 I need to. Wow. Gotta food up... too? Yeah, what about food? That if they don't like the same food I like, like Middle Eastern food, good luck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what she likes. Because you like food. Like, what? I know you don't like movies and stuff, but... Bro, I don't care. So you date a vegetarian? <laughs> yeah. A vegan? Care. What? As long as she's sexy, bro. <laughs> but what if she, like, just hates me and she wouldn't cook me meat? Oh, she has to cook me meat, obviously. What? Why would she cook you meat if she's vegetarian? Yeah, because I'm... So there you go. There's, I like it. There's a potential conflict, right? Yeah. That's why these things matter. Uh-huh. Or like, what if you, you want to surprise her, take her to some place that you really like, yeah. they have the best steak. You go there, uh-huh. and then she, oh, I don't eat meat. Oh, I'll have a salad. A carrots. Uh, she's eating carrots, and you're eating meat. You want to sit there really? with your date while she has a salad? I guess. Bro, this guy doesn't think about these things. Bro, I don't, just, bro. I don't. Wow. I just think about getting laid, and that's I'm it. I don't think what else you <laughs> Okay, okay. If, okay. Food doesn't matter. Okay, wait, wait. If she doesn't work out. 
okay, she needs to work out. But she doesn't have to. She can be okay. Like, she doesn't oh, have yeah, to be no. a fitness. She doesn't have to be a fucking fitness guess, geek. Yeah. You know? No, working out is not. Yeah, it's not a... Okay, she, if she... Uh-huh. Okay, no, but okay. What if she has no interest in, like... Like, when you come home, you're talking about the gym. Yeah. And she has no interest in that. That's okay. As long as she's okay and good looking and she knows how to wow. diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows how to wow. diet. <laughs> this guy did you know what it is? I've never, I've never thought about like dating a person for the long term and getting married and all that. So all these things don't click for me. I don't give a fuck. You know? Do you think that they should click for they you? Should, they should. They should. <laughs> At least you think that they should. I can't just continue my life like this. Okay, fuck. So at some point you're gonna become the new Barney. Wow, bro, is something wrong with me? <laughs> Yo, do I need to go bro, see I'm some dying. What the fuck? Do I need to see a therapist or some shit? Like, bro. You do. <laughs> I feel like I'm so, like, emotionally unattached here. Like, just, you know, I'm far well, away. Well, the fact that you recognize this is, this is something wrong with you is a good start. So. Okay. I wouldn't say there's something wrong with you, yeah. but your priorities don't align with uh, family life. Mm. Like, in 20 years when we're married and we have kids, you're going to be out fucking going to the clubs. That's how I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And you're agreeing, so, okay. I want to hit the clubs, but damn, yeah, you're right. You, you'd you be hitting clubs in your 40s. I know you will. You're right, yo. That's the path I'm taking. <sighs> Bro, this guy's having a fucking awakening. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a fucking... Because, <laughs> yo, I plan to stay fit until, like, until I'm, like, 60. It's not about being fit. And there's no reason for me to stay fit if I have a wife and kids. Unless what? I want to get constantly what? There's more reason. Oh, no, no, I mean, like, fit, like, as in, like, super, God. like, jack. No, even like, that, there's more reason. Yeah, yeah, of course. Testosterone. How you gonna no, this guy's bro, you you think so selfishly. <laughs> it's not about your testosterone. No, what? You're walking down the fucking street with your girl. Yeah. Some guy thinks, oh, I can fucking fuck around with this girl. You gotta look big and fucking protect her. Oh, like that. This guy doesn't think about anyone other than himself. What about mm. Okay, whatever. Well, I'm not even gonna get it. No, say it, say, say it. Say it. What about Shame your health, dude? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that, yeah. that's that thing, but then like also, the, the number, fact that... I read something. The number one predictor, like, outside of, like, general, like, nutrition and stuff, that predicts uh, longevity of life is lifting weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you should always be lifting. And cardio, right? More so lifting, keep your, actually. Keep because heart. No, but... Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, cardio is good. Yeah. But lifting specifically, mm-hmm. because as you age, your, your muscles atrophy, right? Mm-hmm. And then that's how you have fucking issues. You fucking walk around like a vampire. Fuck, eh? Yeah. Your bones get fucking brittle. Bro, I got a wheelchair. Damn. 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 I don't want to be like Barney, bro. I don't want to be in this, you know, conundrum. Conundrum. Anyways. We'll see where that leads. <laughs> It'll give you an update in five years. <laughs> Let's talk about, yeah, the Barney situation now. Um, now, what do you think about the whole situation? Barney storyline. Well, because we never shipped them, right? Yeah, but it makes sense because they're both very promiscuous and like open with relationships and having sex and all. So I see that as a similarity between Robin and Barney. The problem is, is that think? him? What do you mean? Him acting like uh, like a normal person and uh, trying to be nice to Robin? Or is he putting on a face to impress her? He's putting on a face. Put, He's put putting on a face. The problem, you can't do that for a long time. Like That's true. So the, if he that is his true self, then fine, okay. But you're telling me that all these seasons that he's been faking all that, that he's like, okay. Like he's I like think my issue yeah. with that is true face, right? Because before that, remember that flashback where he turned into this guy. That yeah. was his true face. Exactly. So there's no such thing as a true face because your personality can shift and like okay. change all that, the time, right? Depending on different factors. Yeah. If you what you're saying about men is true that they can sleep with someone and still be loved, then it would still work. No, they Why can, but it? it doesn't mean they should. That's the difference. Not, yeah, right? yeah, exactly. It's not a good look. No, like that's what I was. Okay, like it's not a good look for Robin. If there was a misunderstanding, when Lily said the thing, she said you can't be in love with someone mm-hmm. and sleep with someone else. It's like yeah, yes, yeah. you can, but you shouldn't. You shouldn't. That's what she should be saying. Yeah, yeah. So well, to, to keep up this. Uh, uh, oh, I get what you're saying yeah. now. It's yeah. because he went home with her. Yeah. Now he's like, because exactly. okay, okay. Because okay. Rob is never gonna wanna. I mean, any girl's not ever gonna wanna settle with a person like that, you know. Regardless if you have feelings for her or not. I mean, unless you know you're what? a bimbo. If yeah. he keeps this up for a couple more episodes, then maybe. 
Because she had a look when he complimented her and she told her that you deserve this job or whatever. She had mm-hmm. a look. And then she's like, ah, oh, no, he's, he's bullshitting. But if he keeps doing this, it doesn't take one day to change someone's mind, you know? Like if someone's been doing something like, like uh, fucking Barney's well, doing for so long, you need time to get over it. To that. be fair, though, she did leave him there. Fucking Robin. That's Jeez. because she doesn't see him like that. Cause yeah, yeah. cause bro. Like, so what would you do? No, but pussy yeah. waiting for you, uh-huh. and the girl that you like left. So it's like, fuck. What should I do? Best option is to just go with the bimbo. What do you mean best option? You're thinking short term of the night. Yeah. You can't think like that if you want to leave. Well, the way she left too. <laughs> the way she left That's is like go back like that. Okay, go. But that's where Lily is right. You know because <laughs> yeah. you can't think in the yeah. short term. Mm. I just don't like how she feels. Oh, you can't love someone and have sex with someone else. Mm-hmm. She should have said that. Oh. If you want to take this seriously, you shouldn't be doing this because yeah, it'll yeah. look bad. Yeah. That's what she should be saying. Mm. But whatever. Yeah. I think he should have just I think it could work though. They're what very kind of similar. Work? Oh, the Robin relationship. And Barney, yeah. No, I'm talking about going home with her. Oh yeah. He should have left it. Do you think it would work between Robin and Barney? Yeah. Really? I think it could work, bro. Okay. They're very similar in their characteristics. You know, in some ways, you know. Okay. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching our reaction for How Much Mother. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts. See you in the next episode. Peace.